Inevitably, when you're developing a game, you'll have to deal with LODs. LOD stands for Level of Detail. It's a process to define how complex an object is based on its proximity to a camera. A character, for example, needs to be fairly detailed when the camera is very close. From a little further out, the same character will require only medium detail. And from a greater distance still, low detail can be used as your eye wouldn't perceive it from that far. You can see the difference in poly count between these three otherwise identical characters. Using skin wrap, like in the first movie, you can transfer skinning data from one character to another. Typically, a rigger would skin a low-res or a medium-res character before skin wrapping a high-resolution model. In this case, however, the character that is already skinned is the more detailed one, and you'll use skin wrap to skin the LODs. This particular case, the high-res character is only about 2,000 faces and is easy enough to skin. If the model were made of half a million faces, then it would have made sense to skin a lower-res version and then transfer the weights via skin wrap. Select the medium and low LODs and relocate them to 000. Make sure both LODs are selected, you can use the selection set to that effect, and apply a skin wrap modifier to them. Start with the medium LOD. Notice that the skin wrap modifier is instanced. What you do with the medium LOD will affect the low LOD as well. Make sure the deformation is set to face with a 0.001 falloff and add the full body character to act as a control object. It is probably best to select the full body character from a list by pressing H. When the process is complete, right click to exit add mode. If you want, you can test the skinning by selecting a biped part and exiting figure mode. You'll find that skin wrap worked flawlessly. This was a little expected in this case, since the LODs and the original characters are really based on an identical structure. Go back to figure mode when done. Ultimately, you would need to convert skin wrap to regular skin, especially if you plan to save individual LODs as separate files. Because skin wrap was instanced, you will get an error message if you try to convert skin wrap to skin. First, you need to make the modifier unique for that process to work. Now you have the low LOD and the medium LOD independently skinned to the biped skeleton. But here's the problem. Your art director comes along and decides to make a change to the original character. The new character is to have a tiny waist and bulging biceps, and therefore the LODs have to be adjusted accordingly. So, not only do you need to adjust the original mesh, but also the LODs for that mesh as well. This is where skin wrap really shines. In addition to using it to transfer skin data, you'll use it as a modeling tool as well. Before you start making geometry changes, remove the newly applied skin modifiers from the LODs. Obviously, these cannot be used anymore if the character's geometry has changed. Now select both LODs again and apply an instant skin wrap modifier. Choose the full body mesh as a control object one more time. Make the skin wrap modifiers unique, but do not convert them to skin just yet. Now, let's see what happens as you start editing the main character's geometry. Select the full body character, and in the Modify panel, go to Editable Poly Edge Subobject Mode. Select the horizontal edge around the belly and choose Loop. Enable soft selection and scale the waist down a bit. Notice that the LODs have followed suit, courtesy of the skin wrap modifier. Skin wrap is almost acting like a deformation tool for the geometry, not only to transfer skin weights. 
Use the same technique to beef up the biceps or shoulder areas and you have a totally new character. This technique can be used to create variations such as skinny, medium, fat versions of the same character. There is, however, one catch to look out for. Select either LOD models. You have to be very careful how you proceed to convert the skin wrap modifier to skin here. Before moving on, choose Edit Hold. This will enable you to come back to this point if you encounter a problem. If you click on Convert to Skin now, you'd be surprised to see that the LOD has lost the change in geometry information. This is due to the fact that the geometry change information is stored into the skin wrap modifier, which is now turned off. Notice what happens when you enable or disable it. Make sure the skin wrap modifier is enabled, right click it and choose Collapse 2. Click Yes to dismiss the warning message. Now the geometry change is stored at the editable poly level. Repeat the procedure with the low LOD. As you can see, this LOD technique can be very useful when you need to generate additional characters based on some geometry changes. In the third and last movie, you'll experiment by adding additional props to an existing character.